Our kitchen right now is the last frontier of technology. If you think about it, software has entered every other field, but in the kitchen we still cook like cavemen. We, we cook uh, over an open flame, we use uh, very primitive tools. But what will happen when this uh, technology will enter the kitchen? I think it's going to be a revolution. And uh, you know, when I talk to people, I often find that people's reaction often depends on their generation. Uh, some people will think, okay, it's, it's, a, it's a really bad idea. I want to do everything manually, the old-fashioned way. But then you have uh, younger generations uh, for which it seems very natural that you'll cook with software. So right here. We've been developing 3D food printing uh, technology for about a decade. We started in 2005 playing around with printing uh, chocolate and uh, cookie dough and simple ingredients like that. We, ex we explored also uh, food science ingredients that are sort of more that allow you to control uh, texture in a more sort of sophisticated way. But uh, after playing with this for a while, we realized that sort of we have iPods with no music. We have this incredible technology, but we don't have any uh, recipes that will allow us to print with this. I think we have some good IT already, good recipes. We can do protein, we can do vegetables, so we develop different flavors with vegetable, with polenta, with chicken, with fish, and we was able to print. Uh, my only kind of concern, you know, as a chef, who I'm a little can step back on it, it's uh, the changing of the connective tissue, the texture, because at the end you're puring everything. So it was a little kind of like, you know, I, I don't know. When we did it, it was, you know, we tested, it's definitely a work in progress, and you need, I believe, years to be able to create interesting recipe. It is something I will see in a restaurant, in a professional world. I don't think so. I don't think so, that's their goal. They're looking more for home. The spirogram, you know. So that's incredibly difficult to do manually, and it would be ideal to do here. See, I think this one's not the uh, proper. Well, no, actually, this one is looser. The bits maybe. You know, like decoration, utiliser un, un printer uh, pour faire une décoration sur une assiette, comme je fais une, une purée de uh, d'un légume qui soit uh, un marron, une petite purée de marron, et fait un petit uh, une, une petite feuille en, en trois en trois dimensions, et puis dessus on présente un poisson cuit traditionnel ou une volaille cuite traditionnelle. Donc pour une petite décoration incorporée sur une assiette, peut-être. Peut-être intérêt, peut-être une, 
un intérêt là, non, et que ce soit bon, une purée de, de, de marron, c'est quelque chose qu'on fait, c'est fait depuis des années, des purées, peut-être. Mais maintenant, prendre un, faire ça avec une viande, euh, c'est peut-être un peu différent. In that same way, we might have access to new kinds of foods that we can't make ourselves, we can't buy, or we can't pay somebody to make. We'll be able to share food across the planet with uh, loved ones. We'll be able to, uh, some recipes might go viral and we'll be able to taste them on the spot. Uh, and particularly, we might be able to connect food with uh, personalized health, biometrics, personalized medicine, Uh, our genome in ways that we can't do today. So. Yeah, I, 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 I want to go to the first robotics thing for an hour. For an hour, for five to six? 